Hello, everyone. Thank you for checking out this episode of Really Dicey. Today, I'm here with Manny Vega. We're going to talk about Shadow Kitty. Uh, what is this game? So, Shadow Kitty is a it's a, predis- a sequel to the Sparkle Kitty game, and it's more of a co-op game than the original. The original has a lot of take that mechanics, and this one you're playing as witches that are trying to save their familiars from a curse and playing cards in order to break them out one at a time before the clock hits 13. Oh, wow. I, I play Sparkle Kitty, and that's a fantastic game. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you say some of the, the core differences between each game? So it took, it took quite a bit of time to get a Shadow Kitty going because I wanted it to be exactly the same. And I also didn't want it to be completely different. So one of the main things we did was uh, we made it, instead of matching the cards in the middle, you had to make sure that you had one of each card in the middle. So as a team, you have to try and guess what the other player has and not block them because every time you block them, the clock ticks another hour. And like I said, if you hit the 13 hours, you lose. But as a team, you're trying to free each of the familiars. So similarly, you're playing silly spells and saying silly words, but the concept of playing together and freeing uh, the familiars all at once is completely different for new players or old. Oh, okay. So what's the storyline? I know in Sparkle Kitty, uh, you actually, Sparkle Kitty is actually, if I remember correctly, the bad guy that you're trying to, you're trying to stop. Uh, what's the story behind this one? So Sparkle Kitty was the evil queen that uh, tried to capture the princesses to get their magic. And in this one, since the princesses broke out and they used all sorts of magic and dark magic that they didn't understand, the concept is all that dark magic was released when they broke the towers and it slowly started permeating the world and the familiars became trapped in this magical cursed clock, which then the witches have to get together in order to dispel the curse once and for all. Oh, wow. So where did you, where did you get the idea for this? I mean, it's it's a marvelous game. Where where did did the ideas and concepts come from? I'm the original idea for Sparkle Kitty was I was going to make a game with my daughter so that we could play a game. She was around six when we started like just playing silly games, trying to get a concept. And it went from, you know, just Uno, to the the words and then the towers where you break out of the towers. And I mean, she really got a kick out of it. I got a kick out of it. And every time I played with anyone that had, you know, younger family members or older, they they could get into it together. It didn't matter what age you were. And I I just really enjoyed uh, being able to sit down with a group of people that wasn't just hardcore and play a game and they felt like you know everyone was involved in it not just you know the adults letting the kids win and stuff like that that was kind of the goal and even more with shadow i i wanted it to be no more like take that mechanic uh because that seemed to be one thing that parents were like well you know you have to put someone else in a tower and while a lot of kids enjoy that like the co-op mechanic came out of the idea that you're all playing together and working as one to win the game. Oh, okay, okay. So tell us about the art art for Sparkle Kitty and Sparkle Kitty Knight, if I remember the name correctly. Um, uh, They're fantastic. Uh, Is there any difference? What can fans expect? Uh, The artist is uh, Leah Artwick and she did Sparkle Kitty and she did all of Shadow Kitty as well. And the design for the cards and all that is very similar to the, and, and I did that kind of stuff. Um, Knights is, since it's our adult themed, although there's nothing real uh, in the adult sense in there, we, we went with more painterly artists, although Leah has a special bonus card. So it's, it's a little departure from that side. Uh, Sparkle Kitty Knights is kind of its own separate entity that, uh, even with art, we just kept it uh, on its own. Okay. Do you need to know Sparkle Kitty to play Shadow Kitty? Uh, is Shadow Kitty its own game? Yeah, you don't. You don't need to know that. That was part of the thing. Like I wanted to feel like it, but it's its own game. It has 
if you know uh, Sparkle Kitty, it might help understand Shadow Kitty, but other than that, it's it's got its own rules. And like I said, the co-op element is really different. So we had to kind of skirt a, thi a, a, a line to make sure that it felt the same, but is was different. Okay. Uh, the technical aspects, is it is it made for a certain amount of players? Uh, is there an age range, anything like that? So I think the age range for Sparkle Kitty ended up being nine plus, And I think that's the same for Shadow Kitty. Really, if, uh, if a kid can read, they can play the game because the fun part is reading the words and saying the silliness. But uh, for this game, for Shadow Kitty, we actually made it uh, one player. So there's a solo mode, there's a duo mode, and then three to eight is the standard mode. And the way the solo and duo mode works is basically you're running a separate witch with the cards face down and you get to flip over a certain amount. So you don't know exactly what's happening, although you are kind of running two players. It's a mitigating card element for the solo and duo mode, sorry. Oh. Wow, I'm I'm excited. I, I I'm a fan of Sparkle Sparkle Kitty. I enjoyed that very much when they first demoed back at PAX East uh, two years ago, I believe. And um, I'm, I'm glad to know that there's more games coming out based on based on this idea. Um, so when when can people see see this coming out? What's what's the timeline for it right now? So it's printing, or it has already been printed and it's shipping. The question on everyone's mind is how shipping is being affected by all the events in the world. So we're waiting for it to reach the warehouse, but it looks like it might be the beginning of November instead or sometime in November. Oh, okay. So anyone that wants to know more about the game um, or maybe you want to pre-order or anything like that, where can they go? So you can go to the Breaking Games website and click through and find all the Sparkle Kitty stuff and the Shadow Kitty stuff. And we do have a website for Sparkle Kitty. It's sparkle-kitty.com. And all the information we have current will be up there and updated. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you sharing us uh, about this new game and about the inspirations behind it. Um, I'm excited to play, play this new game. Uh, sounds very intriguing. And uh, to our viewers out there, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more gaming content. Have a great day.